It is Wednesday, February 9th, 2022 at 5.35 p.m. This is the monthly meeting of the Urbana Human Relations Commission. Can we have a roll call, please? Stacy Burnett. Osako Kanazi Leggett. Present. Peter Resnick. Here. Julie Robinson Schaefer. Here. All right. At this time, we do not have a quorum. So we'll hold off on approval of the agenda and approval of our minutes for the time being. Um, and we will go to item four, which is public participation. I see two people in the attendees list. Um, if someone wants to click on the raise hand button, I'd be glad to call on you for public participation. Does anybody want to participate? Uh, make sure I have my screen open so that I can see that. It doesn't look like anyone wishes to participate this evening. All right, just listening in. Thank you for attending. Um, we have no unfinished business at the moment. Um, perhaps we can go to six new business and at least start discussing the EEO workforce statistics. Um, Carla, would you like to start? I'm sorry, us Pete. I believe Stacy just arrived in the meeting. Ah, there she <laughs> is. All right. We'll wait until she comes into the panelist side of the room. And then we'll go back and uh, start over. Welcome, Stacy. Um, so at this point, with Stacy present, um, and Stacy, if you would unmute and say that you are in fact present. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm using. I'm in the car. Actually, I had to pick my daughter up, so I'm, oh. I'm here. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us. Much appreciated. Um, so, with Stacy present, I can uh, declare a quorum. And so let's go back and start with approval of the agenda. I uh, entertain a motion to approve the agenda. I'll move. All right. And does anybody second? I second. All right. So I have a motion from Julie, a second from Stacy. Um, any discussion of the agenda? Anything that needs to be added? All right. Then we'll have a roll call vote. Please answer yes or no. Uh, Tamara, please call the roll. Stacy Burnett. Yes. Osako Kanazi Leggett. Yes. Peter Resnick. Yes. Julie Robinson Schaefer. Yes. All right. That motion passes. So we've approved the agenda. Item three on the agenda is approval of the minutes. We have two sets of minutes from our December 8th, 2021 meeting and our January 19th, 2022 meeting. Um, all right. And, and um, sorry. Uh, Oh, and is the 19th our special meeting? Yes. Okay. Um, so do I have a motion to approve uh, both sets of minutes? I will move to approve them. All right, we have a motion by Julie. Does anybody second? I'll second. All right, uh, a second by Asako. Um, so any discussion, any changes to the minutes that need to be made? Any there was... One, it's very minor, but uh, my name was misspelled in the December 8th minutes, Article 6C. Just missing a no. <laughs> so sorry, Julie. I will <laughs> make sure <laughs> that is fixed. It's just, it, you know, that's why it caught my eye because it's my name. I may not have been so uh, diligent on somebody else's. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> thank, thank you for pointing that out. All right. With that change, um, I think we can. Uh, uh, have a vote to approve the minutes. Please say yes or no. Uh, Tamara, would you please call the roll? Stacy Burnett. Yes. Osako Kanazi Leggett. Yes. Peter Resnick. Yes. Julie Robinson Schaefer. Yes. All right. So that motion passes the minutes of both the December 8th and January 19th meetings are approved. Um, I will Give one more shot to public participation if someone wants to raise their hand. Seeing no input, uh, we have no unfinished business this month. Let's move on to new business and EO workforce statistics. Carla, do you want to speak to these at all or uh, are we just open for discussion? Um, I did want to see if it was okay to um, 
add that final one. Um, that one is a new um, vendor. Um, he is a, a business of one. Um, he was with a previous vendor that had been certified, um, but he's ventured out on his own. Um, and he is specialized in mechanics for our fire department. And so um, he's looking to continue that um, relationship. But um, I, I asked that he would fill this out so that we would keep everything um, up and up, even though he's a, a, a business of one, I still wanted him to go through this process. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, um, with, I was gonna say with the others, um, I, I peruse them, um, but I would leave the uh, discussion up to you guys. I do have um, information if you need them, and I believe Tamara does also. All right. Um, so, and, and I did notice that, that I take it, I have not heard any objection to adding that one to the list. Um, with no objection, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, does anybody have any questions for Carla or Tamara at this point? Does someone want to make a motion um, and then we can discuss them however you want to approach it? And if you want to have a quick read over them and come up with some suggested um, proposal. I, I did have a question for the one. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, was, was this a minority business or not? Um, I believe he said no on the no. phone. Yeah, it's just one one person and he did not identify as a minority business. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to peruse the numbers real quickly. <laughs> this That's okay. We, okay. we have five of them. Um, yes. and, uh, so I will make a motion. Uh, to approve Baker Tilly for two years is our normal term, correct? Two years is fully acceptable. One year is we would like some more information before the year is out. And six months is we really want to follow up on something. And we can always defer and say not approving for it, either the time being or, um, you know, right. however. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there and then I am happy if anybody wants to discuss further and, and <laughs> change. A motion for purposes of discussion. Yes, motion for purposes of discussion. Baker Tilly for two years. Uh, Lauter, Lauterbach and Amon. Um, looking at this also two years. Don't I sound confident? Uh, <laughs> Michael's construction. Uh, I will say, I'm looking at numbers. These numbers all start running together. I'll, I, I'm going to say two years for them, too. We're going to just a motion for discussion on all of these. And then Sikich, um, I will say also two years. I'm, I, I will say two years for everybody. And uh, the last one was, was the mid state. Uh Fire yes, company. I am going to say one year because it's one employee and just that way more time to uh, have experience. I think mm -hmm. maybe that's so that's my motion. Somebody else can <laughs> see fit to <laughs> jump in. So does someone want to second that motion? I'll second. All right, so we have a motion by Julia, second by Stacy. Um, we'll open to for discussion. Does anybody want to make some comments? Please refute any of my suggestions. I am fine with that. <laughs> I, I'm just wondering if a one year is enough for the single person to find adequate help since you're just starting. Well, and um, yeah, I, I was going to say our general practice has been for um, companies under 15 employees because the statistics on that would be completely uninterpretable and for one employee even less so. Um, we usually just give them two years and if we need to see them again, um, we expect in two years they won't have that many more employees and if we have to review it at that point. Um, so uh, uh, someone, can, it, it, someone can offer up a friendly amendment to change that to two years if you want. 
I can amend my original motion if that's yes, allowed. And, and that is fine. The, the background, what you provided, he is very helpful. Thank you. This is this is me on a very steep learning curve. <laughs> no, that's quite all right. And and uh, we, we are all going to uh, learn together here. <laughs> um, uh, so we've got two years across the board. Does anybody have any questions or changes that they want to make to that? Do we evaluate them based on their EEO statements and sexual harassment statements? Absolutely. So um, if you take a look at the statements, um, take a look at the numbers. One thing that I tend to do when I look at them is I'll uh, take a look and see what city they're located in and see what the demographics of the city is. Mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, we compare them to our county workforce, but um, some of these are well out of range for us. and. Um, you know, uh, a quick look at Wikipedia usually gives mm -hmm. some interesting information whether the numbers are way off or, you know. I guess not just the numbers though, like the, the statements they submit that they have in their handbooks or whatever. Yeah, if there's, uh, if you have questions about um, those statements, we, you can absolutely, um, we can ask them for more information. Mm -hmm. or, I think for the one person business, maybe um, if we can get something slightly more specific, not specific, but um more polished maybe be a way of putting it yeah and, and you know uh this is one of the things that uh is sort of under carla's umbrella we are perfectly within rights to approve him for two years and say to carla hey could you help him you know write up a more uh you know fancy looking uh eo statement for future use um you know whichever way we want to go with that we can always defer things um, until next meeting if you want to, um, or we can just ask Carla to take care of that, you know, and approve them whichever way you want to go. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I, I go along with the original motion, the amended motion, I guess. <laughs> All right. Any other discussion? All right. Then um, we have an omnibus motion for Baker Tilly U.S. for two years, Lauterbach and Amon for two years, Michelle's Construction for two years, Sickich uh, LLP for two years, and Midstate Fire Protection for two years. Um, all right, uh, Tamara, can you please call the roll? Stacy Burnett. Yes. Asako Kanazi Leggett? Yes. Peter Resnick? Yes. Julie Robinson Schaefer? Yes. All right. That motion passes. Oh, and I didn't say for the minutes. I'm sorry, Tamara. The motion was by Julie and the second was by Stacy. Thank you. All right. So moving on to new business B um, selection of new chair. Um, so, as you know, last month, uh, um, Fran stepped down as our chair. I mentioned to Carla that though I am perfectly willing to continue in the role of vice chair and step into the chair duties as, um, as needed until even if it takes until June when our regular officer election rolls around, um, I would prefer not to step up as chair. We are allowed, according to our bylaws, to make an interim appointment. Carla apparently um, passed the word and didn't get anybody biting on the hook. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm happy to discuss plans moving forward and uh, you know how we might go about figuring out who wants to chair. Um, but we don't have to make the selection tonight. We put it on the uh, agenda just in case. But does anybody want, have any questions or want to talk about our uh, officer selection. Well, I'm perfectly happy to chat with all of you um, individually offline if you have questions about chairing the meetings. The reason I'm not putting my name in has nothing much to do with the amount of work. It's not horrific. Um, it's a little more work than just being on the commission, but not terribly much more. Um, I, um, first of all, 
as you've learned over the years, uh, I like to yammer on at meetings and it's harder to do that as chair where you have to be nice and let everybody have a say. Um, I also am not terribly fond of the optics of this middle-aged straight white man being chair of the commission. Um, so um, in any event, uh, any other questions? Please feel free to contact me and we can chat about it. And uh, if you don't, you may be contacted by Carla or me to try and give you a hard time to put your name in the hat. So think about it, please. All right. With that done, then let's move on to item seven, which is the officer's report. Carla. Okay. Um, as I'm going to go through the through my report. Um, closed cases. Um, we had the housing uh, case, I believe, back in December. I shared that with you guys. Um, that case had been closed. Um, the complainant and the respondent settled through conciliation um, um, to both satisfaction. So it, that was a uh, that was a good ending to um, that case. Um, we had no formal, no informal complaints. Um, have been filed formal complaints. We have four housing uh, concerning four for housing concerning source of income. Um, I prepared the formal complaints documents. They have been signed and by the complainant sent to the uh, corresponding respondents. And I'm waiting to get their formal responses, uh, which are due next week. Um, they have 28 days um, from the receipt of the uh, formal uh, notification letter. And so that time will expire next week. Uh, potential violations letter went out. 22 property management companies, landlords were that went out in December. Um, and the reason why I'm sharing this information is because I would have shared it in January, but we didn't have the quorum. And so I, I, I waited until this month. Um, I've been in communication uh, with all of them and they are in the process of reviewing and updating their websites. And some of them had already previously uh, updated their website. So that's a, I believe that's a, a good start moving forward. Um, I'm also in the process of researching and gathering information on HUD fair housing best practices information to provide to all interested parties concerning housing, including landlords, uh, those that are renting, um, those hope to rent um, and advocates that are helping those in the process. Um, community activity um, and advertisement for the Human Rights Commission vacancies um, has been posted. Um, it's been posted on the Facebook page for the city and um, our communication specialist has been posting it also elsewhere um, on Facebook and elsewhere. Um, there is an opportunity for commission members to volunteer for the Jetty Roads Day celebration in King Park. Um, board and commissioners are um, encouraged to attend. Um, this opportunity to volunteer for the city of Urbana's booth at the event will be June 25th, 2022 at noon. It starts at noon. Um, we would probably need to be there, I would say by 11. Um, I'm planning to be there by 1030 to help with setup or anything that, you know, if they need a gopher, be willing to do that. Um, but it is June 25th. Um, it starts June 25th at noon in King Park. Um, I met with the Champaign office, uh, community relations director. Um, she provided an overview of the Champaign um, diversity advancement program, and that's the um, minority business, minority women and veteran owned business list that um, contractors or anyone seeking to do business um, can look at that um, listing and um, utilize the um, owners that are on there. Um, uh, she connected me with the company that provides the uh, CDAP, and which is an acronym for the Champaign Diversity Advancement Program system. And I participated in an overview of that system. Um, I, uh, the person that works for the company, walked me through the um, system and showed me a lot of different um, modules on how um, how the system works and how we can get reporting from it. Um, and really look at you know the numbers for our contracting with. Um, with minority owned businesses. Um, I haven't collected all of that information. I'm just sharing that with you guys. I'm putting together all that information to present it to leadership um, to see if that's something that we're able to do um, because there is a, a, a price tag to it. And so we got to you know look at it. Um, but we are 
actively currently um, involved with the CDAP um, system where we can access that system also, and our vendors can access it also. Um, <clears throat> She's also provided me some resources for board training. I know that um, this board was interested in seeking training. Um, and so she's provided me with some contact information for some training. And so I'm um, following up with that to try to see if I can get some type of um, training developed or presented for you guys. Um, um, I met with my counterparts from Danville, Champaign, Decatur, and Springfield. Um, there is a Illinois Municipal Human Rights Association, and so I participated that in that for the first time. Um, learned a lot about the organization, and um, they provided me updates on what they've been doing in their offices. And I can tell you, I I felt a lot better because I'm like, okay, I'm not the only one <laughs> feeling this way. So it 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 was good to to know that um, I, it's normal and it's okay and and i'm doing okay <laughs> and so um that was really nice to just to meet with people that are doing the work and to share ideas and to you know become mentors and you know um just to get resources from um i did meet with tracy parsons from the city of champaign um he gave me a, his a historical we had a historical discussion on the work that champaign has done with unions um, and he introduced me to some of the people um, that he has worked with. Um, I actually have a meeting tomorrow with some folks. Um, and so I'll bring information to the uh, commission as I get that information on how to best, you know, strategies on how to best work with our unions. Um, and I am in the process, oh, I've already scheduled those. Um, and I'm gathering training information again for the board. Um, you guys should have received the um, link and the information for the um, Open Meetings Act uh, training. Um, Pete, I believe you completed it. Um, and I was gonna ask you um, how long did it take? Cause I know that those were some questions um, and I hadn't gone through it. So if you could share with us, you know, how about how long it took you. I did it in bits and spurts uh, over the day when I had some free time. I think in total, it didn't take me more than, uh, you know, three quarters of an hour. Um, uh, it, it's, I think if I remember right, it's about a hundred little slides that you go through one at a time, read over the slide, and then there are some questions at the end of each section. It wasn't too bad. Um, I did have a question about that one, by the way. Um, I know we all have to do the OMA. Do any of us have to do the FOIA or is that just for whoever the FOIA officer is and who is that? Um, I know the city has a FOIA officer, so okay. anytime a FOIA comes into the city, that person will get that, and then they will send it out to the person to whichever department um, that the FOIA requests the information from, and then the department will provide that information to that person. It's very um, centralized. Um, so, so do we? I, none of us are FOIA. Okay. None so of us are the FOIA do, officers. We yeah. just have to do the OMA training. Just have to do the OMA training. Yeah. Good. Good. I do have a question on that because I did that when I joined. Do I have to do it again? Is this an annual training? And that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I was clear. I believe it is an annual. Okay, that's fine. And there were actually this year, there were um, updates for the COVID stuff. They updated the whole slide deck. So okay. um, it's worth going through uh, some of the rules I wasn't completely aware of. So Okay, great. Thank you. And I, I also um, am looking, I've, I've reached out to the city clerk to provide some information. Um, so um, it'll it'll complement the OMA training, um, kind of the do's and don'ts, because I know I struggled with my, you know, with first being here and understanding, you know, the Roberts rules and point of order and things like that. And so I ha I've reached out and I have some information. I just got to put it all in a nice, neat package for you guys. Um, outside of that, that's all I have. Any questions for me? I had um, just two quick ones. Um, the conciliation that took place on that housing case you mentioned up front, I take it that was pre-probable um, cause finding. That was informal conciliation before you found probable cause or did not find probable cause, correct? Yes. Okay, good. 
Um, and the other one was the King Park program. Um, could you mention what that is exactly? Um, I, it, uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> or at least um, if you could repeat the name so I could go look it up. Okay, it's the uh, Jetty Roads, J-E-T-T-I-E, R-H-O-D-E-S day. Um, I did get a, a, a long explanation, but um, I can send the link to everyone um, and it has that information on it. It's just, it with a lot going on, I didn't com commit it all to memory, um, but I know she's someone um, that was um, prominent in the community. It, yeah, if you could send out the link, that'd be terrific. I can do that. Thank you. Any other questions for Carla? All right, thank you so much. That sounds like a busy couple of months here. <laughs> um, great. Uh, so item eight on the agenda is announcements. Does anybody have any announcements? I will repeat our announcement up front that we are now at our bare minimum for members of the commission. And so if there are volunteers out there who would like to, please do send in your applications on the Urbana website. Uh, we would love for folks to join us. Anything else? Well, with that, um, item nine is adjournment. Thank you all for attending and um, getting through our business. Um, and I appreciate you all being able to attend these meetings. Uh, it, it's going to be uh, tricky for the four of us to get to everyone and, and until we get some extra bodies in the chairs. So thank you so much. Thank you, Pete. All right, have a good night, everyone.